RamblinCentral.com. I'm Joey Blackwell here with Blake Byler following Alabama basketball's 87 to 71 loss at the hands of unranked Texas A&M. Blake, uh, Alabama started off, you know, they they were they was kind of back and forth in the first half, but really just a total collapse in the second half, leading to the loss tonight. Yeah, in the second half, you saw Texas A&M outscore Alabama 50 to 31, I believe. Just the defense absolutely fell apart. Turnovers were a big issue for Alabama. Uh, they had 19 turnovers. I believe Texas A&M had around 29 points off of turnovers. Uh, so just being unable to uh, take care of the ball, the guards were the cause of a lot of those turnovers. So that led to a lot of easy runouts from Texas A&M, not able to defend the, the three. So just a lot of things went wrong for Alabama in the second half. Over its last three games now, Alabama's averaged 18 turnovers per game. Turnovers have been an issue all season, but now they're ultimately kind of coming to the forefront mm -hmm. of issues Alabama's had because it doesn't matter how well you're shooting the basketball, if on half your possessions you're turning it over to the other team and giving the other team opportunities, that's ultimately going to lead to a loss. Um, but as far as Alabama overall is concerned, they had three players score in double digits tonight. Uh, Jaden Shackelford led the way with 16 points. Javon Cornley had 14, and Ellis had 13. Ellis was quiet in the first half, but did develop, but it was just a little bit too little too late for them. Yeah, it definitely was. And you saw uh, J.D. Davidson had a relatively quiet game. I believe I saw a stat this week that Alabama was 10-1 and one when J.D. Davidson scores double digits. So he was a non-factor tonight. And then uh, just a lot of guys that couldn't really get going that had a couple shots going, but they never really found a rhythm tonight. Solid players for Texas A&M tonight. They had three really great players tonight. Jackson led them with 28 points. Uh, Radford had 22. Coleman only had 18, but he did have 11 rebounds for a double-double. Speaking of rebounds, Allen was out-rebounded overall, a total of 33-24. to 24. So, you know, you know, turning over the ball too many times, being out-rebounded, those are two uh, very glaring issues that will lead to a lot of losses. And Nato said after the game that, um, you know, he talked about how um, – how kind of how sad it would be for these players to go out, you know, the seniors to go out with uh, these type of losses this late in their career to finish it off. Absolutely. And he also talked about uh, with the turnovers just being locked in and how uh, the guys clearly weren't locked in. And if he said, if you're locked in, you're locked in. And if you're not, you're not. And that shows on the floor. So definitely moving forward, we're going to have to see them uh, be more locked in on both sides of the floor. Alabama still has one game left in the regular season. On Saturday, they'll face the LSU Tigers in Baton Rouge at 11 a.m. Central Time. That game will be broadcast on CBS. We will also have our live updates on Bama Central. We'll also have three people down in Tampa for the SEC, tur SEC Tournament. We don't know where Alabama's going to be seated yet. That will highly depend on Saturday's game, um, but it's going to be a lot of fun regardless. For BamaCentral.com, I'm Joey Blackwell here with Blake Byler. Thank you so much for watching.